Hi, today I wanna to talk to you about some of my favorite rose perfumes. Rose has been one of my favorite notes in fragrance since I started knowing what notes I liked. <laughs> and I have um, a bit of a love affair with rose and the many forms that it comes in. So I just wanted to show some of my favorite fragrances. Some are popular and you've probably heard of them. Some are a little less popular and you maybe have not heard of them. So I'm kind of hoping to open your eyes to some of the rose fragrances that exist. I'm going to start with my most unabashed rose fragrance and that is from Perfumers Workshop. This is Tea Rose Parfum. This is an extremely loud in your face rose. It is very green. It's a little powdery. It just smells like a freshly cut rose. It is so good. I will warn you that this is for a true rose lover. If there is any type of rose that you dislike, I'm going to guess you probably won't like this. It's just it doesn't really, to me, it doesn't really even smell like a perfume. It smells more like a decorative soap or an air freshener, which is exactly how I use this. I actually spray this in my room because it smells so good. I have very rarely worn this, but oh, it, it is so good. Like, that's why I keep smelling it. Mmm, if you like roses, like real fresh roses, like real freshly watered, cold roses this is perfect for you this one smells so exactly like that um and it's fairly inexpensive um i got this on fragrance net for like i don't even know ten dollars eight dollars uh, i can't stop smelling it it smells so good this is definitely like it reminds me of spring it smells like a big delicious bouquet of roses right out of a florist's freezer or refrigerator Mmm, smells so good. So, Perfumers Workshop Tea Rose Parfum. I'm going to start with my fresh roses since I just started with Tea Rose. This fragrance is from Salvatore Ferragamo. This is the Signorina Eau de Toilette. I've talked about the Eau de Parfum before, and that fragrance is a little more sweet and creamy. This fragrance is very much a fresh rose. It opens with lychee and grapefruit, which are very tart, um, a little bit sweet, but very juicy. And then there's rose, cashmere, and milk mousse, which I think is supposed to be whipped cream. To me, this fragrance really doesn't rely on those other notes. It is just a really nice fresh rose with some sweetness and like a little bit of an airy fluffiness uh, in the background. Um, the citrus and like the grapefruit and the lychee are very, very fleeting, just opening note type things. Um, and the rest is really just a really sweet rose. It's so good. There's very little green in here. It does not smell like a fresh cut rose. It just smells like if you were to smell the rose, like to lean in and put your nose in it. It smells very lush, very soft, very fresh, very feminine, very springtime. The bottle is actually perfect for this fragrance because it's just very youthful and feminine and pastel. <laughs> um, I really like wearing this in the spring. I find that this works really well in sort of that moderate temperature leading from spring into summer in the heat. I find it to be a little off-putting and it doesn't really open up enough in cold weather. So hitting that transition, um, in my opinion, works best for this fragrance. It's so feminine and so clean and fresh. So I, I have to be in the right mood to wanna wear this, but for someone who really, really loves fresh floral fragrances, I think this is a perfect fragrance to add to your collection. This next fragrance, I never hear anybody talk about it. It is Rumor Two Rose from La Vaughn. And I got this fragrance because the fragrance that I wore on my wedding day is no longer made. And I got a small sample of this and it smelled very similar. The similarities, it's really not that close, but it's close enough. Um, this is a very juicy, citrusy rose. 
Um, there is lemon, bergamot, mandarin, pear, grapefruit, rose. There's some other florals like jasmine. But to me, this is truly just like a rose in some tart, tangy juice. Uh, it's a little sweet, but the citrus is a little more, it's just more tart than anything. And to me, this works really great in spring and summer because it's so juicy. It smells less fresh than Signorina in terms of like smelling like being out of the shower or like freshly laundered. To me, this smells just a little more a little more candy-like. It's not really fully gourmand or candy. It just has a little more of that edge to it. Um, I just sprayed some on myself. Oh, it smells so good. It's really just like rose in a cup of juice. Um, so perfect for the summer, perfect for heat. It works really well in the heat, um, as well as the spring and summer. It's a little spicy. Like I thought there was some pink pepper in it, but there isn't. And um, a, little, a little more green than Signorina. The next three fragrances I have to show you are all jammy roses because I am a huge fan of a candied rose. This first fragrance is from Lancome. It is Trezor Midnight Rose. This is raspberry and rose. There's also a little pink pepper and some vanilla. Um, and I, I find this raspberry a little synthetic in the beginning, but after 20 minutes or so, it turns into this really sweet, juicy, dark red raspberry. And the rose is also very lush and sweet. It doesn't have any green in here. Um, and the lasting power on this fragrance is very good, very good. So eight hours, I would say, with very decent projection. I find that with actually all three of these next fragrances, they project very, very well. A candied rose to me really works best in fall and winter. So my preference is to wear this in the fall and winter. I think that the cold helps to sort of temper the sweetness um, and it allows the rose to really come out and be expressed to its fullest. The next fragrance I have is from Nina Ricci. This is called Lextes. And this is also a raspberry rose perfume like Trezor Midnight Rose with the added note of caramel. And this raspberry actually takes a back seat. To me, this smells like caramel and rose and it is so incredibly delicious. This, oh, it's gotta be one of my absolute favorites for winter time. It just smells so delicious, so scrumptious. Um, the raspberry is definitely there. It just really, it really does take a back seat to the caramel and the rose. Again, no green notes and it lasts a really long time. I find this to be such a cozy fragrance and it lasts eight hours and stays cozy that entire time. This next fragrance is from Towerville by Andy Tower and it is called Rose Flash. This actually doesn't have any fruit notes in it. It's amber, rose, and some resins, but this is one of the sweetest, most candied roses I've ever smelled. It's a little smoky too. Um, this airs more towards like a unisex candied rose and it just smells incredible. I only have a roller ball. I definitely am going to buy a full size bottle when I'm done with this. Um, this one I love wearing on really cold, cold days because it is so warm and delicious. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my rose perfumes. I would love to hear down in the comments what your favorite rose perfumes are. Thanks so much for watching.